Hello, welcome back to part 5 of this video tutorial how to build a Pac-Man game in XNA. Please don't forget to buy the content. Send 2 euro 95 to PayPal account XNA Pac-Man 2013 at hotmail.com. We send the content in 24 hours to your email address. In the previous tutorial we have finished the cost cost and in this tutorial it's time to uh, bring Pac-Man alive and let him moving. Before we're gonna do that, I wanna build a um, rotation animation and therefore we need another class. So go to Project, Add Class and call it enum.cs and we may close this one. And the first thing we're going to do here is delete the class because the enumerations don't belong in a class. And now we create the enum public enum and we call it the rotation enum. And the first one we have is north and that's 270. Then we have an east, we put that on zero, a suit, it's 90, and we have a west at 180. Okay, that's all there is. North 270, East 0, Sud 90 and West 180. And with that done, we can go to the Pac-Man class. And the first thing we need to do here is add another using statement using Microsoft XNA framework. And we need the input for keyboard and joystick. And remember that in the object class we have set the speed default to zero, so we need to set the speed for the Pac-Man. So speed is 2.0. Alright. This is done. Um, now we need to override the update method of the object class. So public override updates. Updates the Pac-Man. Provides a snapshot of timing values updates right the first thing we need here are the keyboard states so let's create a variable private keyboard states and the current keyboard states and we need a private keyboard states previous keyboard states All right. represents the current keyboard states 
and represents the previous keyboard states. And that are the private variable. So now we can set here the cats the current keyboard states. Current keyboard state is keyboard cat state. And at the end we can say that the previous keyboard state is the current keyboard state. Set the previous keyboard states. Wow. Okay. Now we can put that out of the way and we gonna set here that of course that if not is alive we know nothing when not alive return and now we can say that if the current keyboard states is key down keys up and the same for is key down keys down if the current keyboard state is key down keys left and if the current keyboard state is key down keys right okay This is key left. Key right. So. And the first thing we're going to do here with key up and key down that is that if we go up and down, we have to modify the IAS. So let's do that. Position and when we go up it's minus minus the speed and we have built the rotation so let's do that first set the rotation value and we do that 
with rotation is rotation enumeration and when we go up we go to the north alright and we can say here walk and of course this is position I alright and we can do the same sets set the rotation value rotation is rotation enumeration and now we go not to the north but to the west to the south alright and here we can say that the position dot i plus its speed Right. Okay. And now we can do the same for key left and key right. Set the rotation value. Rotation. Rotation. And it looks like that I have. Yeah, right. I spell it wrong. Okay. Rotation is int rotation enum. And when we go to the left, we go to the suits. To the west. All right, and walk is down position dot x, and to the left is minus speed. All right, set the rotation value. Rotation is int rotation enum, and now we go northeast. Position dot x plus is speed. Right. Well. Let's see how Pac-Man is doing it. And now, yep, let me go up, down, left and right. See, he's rotating. It's very nice. Alright, I'm going to end the tutorial here. I hope you have to enjoy. In, in the next tutorial, we're going to uh, start with animation. Right? Okay, see you in the next tutorial. Bye.